going to show you that you can play as Dixon, Bumcar, and Elvis in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. First, I'll show you how Elvis, I mean, no, not Elvis. Okay, guys, I am playing as Dixon now. Uh, Dixon is the only person that can jump. Let's go ahead and fight. He isn't anything special. He's just a person that attacks once with his idol attack and has Thunder Flash and Heal Bolts. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a special attack. Let's fight another one of these big boys. Okay, I think that's all I have for Diction. As I said earlier, he is nothing special, but the other two, Elvis and and Munkar, they are special. As you, you and you're gonna see in the next in the next parts. Now I'm gonna switch over to Munkar. Okay, now we're playing as Munkar. Now let's go ahead and get into a battle to see what he can do. He has dive. He's Hell Dive Claw. He attacks two times with his auto attack. He is Hellhound, which temporarily draws Ego from party in range. But we mustn't be careless. Oh, that was too easy with these people. With these uh people on my team. Is there another enemy I could fight? Ooh, another big guy. Well, let's fight you. As you can see, he has no special move, but he can use he, he can use a team attack. But also, Dixon can use team attack too. Now I'm going to show something cool you can do with Munkar. Oh yeah, Munkar is the only character you can actually go into the main menu with. With Dixon and Elvis you can't, the game will completely crash on you. I don't know why that happens, it just happens I guess. Oh yeah, the game doesn't have a swimming animation for Mumkar. So if you go in the water, instead of swimming, he just runs in he just runs under the water. 
I haven't found any good uses for this yet. Uh, oh yeah, there's another cool trick you can do with him and Elvis too. Elvis can go underwater too. Like this. Hey, did I already mention that bum car can't jump? Yeah, since he doesn't have a jump animation or a fall animation, you could use him to uh, bypass the fall boundary like this. <laughs> so you have to keep on moving or the game's just gonna put him in the boundary again. Yeah, so I pretty much found a way to get out of bounds. But yeah, this also works with Elvis, and I'll show that in a clip too. Once we get to the bottom, I'm gonna cut this video. Oh yeah, I say that because there is collision at the bottom. He will eventually stop falling. See, he stopped falling now. Now I'm gonna cut to Elvis. Okay, now I'm playing as Elvis. He can't jump just like Munkar. You can pretty much do the same things as Bunkar, except he has different arts in battle. His attack is just a single swing. His auto attack. His cross ray. And lost ray. Pretty sure you get to use them in a team attack. In the part where Elvis temporarily joins your team. Or Shark has to fight a, a lot to less. Oh, that's pathetic. What happened to the other bosses? Oh, there you go. Play a little more as Elvis. Oh yeah, he doesn't have a special art either. Just like Bunkar and the others. Oh yeah, he can use team attack. As you can see, he's walking on. He's walking in the water. Okay, because this is because the game never had ha never had a swimming animation for him. Okay guys, I'm gonna go a little bit out of bounds with Elvis to show that he does the same thing as Mungkar. Hello, Makanis.
As you can see, I'm passing right through the funnel limits. As I said before, among cars, this is part. I'll eventually hit the collision. Ooh, Tepper Cave. Music is playing. Oh, well. The game must think I'm in the cave because I'm so far down. Okay, I hit the bottom. Okay guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.